Okay y'all, first Amazon favorites of the year. Hey you guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. It's been a little while since I've done an Amazon favorites video. I actually haven't done one yet in 2024. I think the last one that I did was like before the holidays. So since then I have definitely gotten a few things in from Amazon that I've been loving. So I've rounded everything up and I'm gonna share it with you guys here in this video. Before we jump into it, as always, I wanna welcome any newcomers to my channel. My name's Sarah. I create content on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I would love it if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell. And for everyone watching, please make sure to like these videos and leave me a comment down below letting me know what some of your current Amazon favorites are. Interacting and engaging with my videos helps to let me know which videos I should be making more of and also helps my channel out a lot so I'd appreciate it if you guys give a little thumbs up and shoot me a comment down below. But anyways we're just gonna go ahead and dive into things. The first item I want to mention are my new house slippers. I got these for Christmas from my sister. They were on my list and these are so cute and so freaking comfortable. The bottoms on these are actually memory foam so it makes them really really comfortable to walk around and wear all day. It feels like it molds to my feet really well and it's just super supportive. And then I also really love the little fuzzy trim. We are currently technically in winter. I think we're like more transitioning into spring, but still I was mainly wearing these around the holidays through now and they've just been so festive and cozy for winter. Next up is an item that I actually got from TikTok shop, but they do sell it on Amazon. So I wanted to mention it here in this video and it is the Homiko cordless vacuum. I've been wanting a cordless vacuum for so long, but I just never pulled the trigger. And then when I saw everyone raving about this one on TikTok, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get it. It was actually relatively inexpensive. It was under $100 when I bought it and I think in general it's right about at that $100 price point. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. We got the black and champagne one and I just, I really love the color on this. But in general this vacuum has been a game changer. It makes it so much easier to vacuum. We had like a big huge shark vacuum before, like literally it was like almost the size of me. And I never wanted to vacuum because it was such a pain in the ass to like drag out. It was so bulky and cumbersome. And then I have to find a plug to plug it in wherever I want to vacuum. And then also it's just so big that it didn't necessarily always fit in the smaller spaces. And we also don't have like a really large place. I think our place is around maybe a thousand square feet. If we're being generous, we can call it 1100. So we don't have like that much square footage that we need a vacuum. So it just didn't make sense to have such a big vacuum. So when I came across the Homika one, I was like, that's perfect. That's exactly what we need. Just something light and small that is easy to like grab and like spot vacuum if we need to, or can cover a little bit more ground if we're doing a little bit of a deeper clean. But I really love this one because it actually is pretty powerful. I remember I was actually very, very impressed by it the first time that I used it. It sucked up so much stuff that we didn't even realize was in the carpet because we do run our robot vacuum every once in a while, but I feel like the robot vacuum just doesn't get everything or also just because we have a German Shepherd, he sheds like crazy. It's like the robot vacuum can't keep up. And then also the robot vacuum can't get into like tight corners and stuff. So having the Homika cordless that can be like a secondary vacuum to like pick up even deeper in the carpet or also get those like really tight corners has been so great and it's so satisfying especially in like the really tight spaces that we are not normally able to clean up and this one comes with three different attachments right now I have the little tube attachment on it because I was cleaning up a little spill but I'll put a photo on the screen it also has like the long attachment so that's more like a regular vacuum and what's nice about that attachment is that it can go on both carpet and smoother floors like hardwood or linoleum so you can transition in between rooms and then it also has a couch attachment I was not a big fan of the couch attachment I don't know if it's just a user thing if I'm just not using it right but I feel like this and the Chom Chom combined to kind of get the job done on our couch on their own. Then I'm just kind of like moving through things randomly. The next item that I wanted to share with you guys is this new stainless steel guasa. I know that's making like the camera go crazy. Sorry about that. But I have been wanting a stainless steel guasa for a long time because I like the fact that they're a little bit more sanitary than like the jade or quartz ones. But in particular, I really like the stainless steel because I can actually refrigerate it in my skincare fridge, which we'll talk about next. To guasa, you don't necessarily need your tool to be cold, but I do like it at the end of the night. I feel like it's just a nice sensation and it just kind of like calms and relaxes me. So if you haven't tried a stainless steel guasa before, highly recommend it. And then if it's convenient for you to refrigerate that, definitely try it out because I highly recommend that experience. Up next is my skincare fridge. I am not gonna actually like bring it on camera right now and show it to you guys because it is pretty bulky. And then also right now it's plugged in. It's actually right next to me. If you guys hear any humming, that's what's humming. But my husband got it for me for my birthday and I am absolutely obsessed with it. I have been wanting a skincare fridge for a very, very long time. And I did a lot of research into what kind I want and I came across this one from Lavara. 
stuff and I just thought that it was so unique I love how deep it is and I love how much stuff it can fit and then also too I absolutely love the color combination I got the green and rose gold one and it is just stunning I haven't seen any other skincare fridges like this one and also too what's unique about this one is that you can actually choose from two different options you can get the traditional fridge which will open from the front but I decided to go with a little bit more of a non-traditional one that opens from the top I just like that it gives a little bit more depth I felt like if I did a vertical one I might like lose some space you know towards the top so having it horizontal then stacking all the products has definitely made it so that I'm able to maximize as much of the space in the fridge as possible then up next I wanted to mention a couple of the things that I'm wearing the first item is this long sleeve top that I have on this is just like a basic staple long sleeve top I got it in two different colors I got this one and then I also got this beige one but I really really like these because they have this like little cinch here when I was shopping for just like some basic long sleeve tops I wanted tops that weren't gonna necessarily like be a true crop I didn't want them to like come all the way up I wanted them to have a little bit of length but I still wanted them to like be able to scrunch a little bit so that you can see like a little sliver of stomach and I love that these are designed to do exactly that they're perfect for what I was looking for and these ones do run true to size I got a medium and the fit is perfect then the next item that I'm wearing are these huggy earrings I got them in a pack of I think it was like 13 earrings I'll put a picture on the screen of the other earrings but these ones have been my absolute go-to's but the pack itself was actually really really inexpensive I think it was it was definitely less than $15 for 13 earrings maybe even like way less than that I honestly think I might be overestimating with that figure but these ones are my absolute favorite they're these gold rhinestone huggies but the rhinestones on these are like a baguette shape it's definitely different than a lot of other earrings that I've seen a lot of rhinestone earrings have like little tiny diamonds but I liked the fact that these were elongated I feel like it makes them kind of like perfect everyday earrings I literally never take these out unless I'm specifically swapping out earrings for an event but yeah these ones have been the ones that I've been wearing pretty much every single day I just got my second hole so I've been liking wearing an earring stack but even though it like looks like a basic huggy I feel like the baguette shape of the rhinestones give it a little something extra and also too this whole pack was such a good value there are so many really really good styles in this pack I haven't gotten a chance to wear all of them because these ones have been like pretty much my daily ones but I do switch them out every once in a while and none of them bother my skin all of them are super lightweight and comfortable and then also too I can confirm that they don't tarnish since I rarely take these off I always wear them whenever I'm showering or working out and I've never had a problem with the metal irritating my skin up next is another present from my husband he got me this one for Christmas and it is my ascot glass tea kettle you guys look at how aesthetic this tea kettle is it's so cute I love the glass on it it just it looks so good and then also too I really love this retro style just beautiful with this off-white I love seeing this on my countertop I have definitely turned into a tea girly I drink a mug of tea probably about five times a week before I go to bed and then sometimes I'll like randomly drink it throughout the day if I feel like I need a little caffeine boost but I don't want a coffee I've been finding myself gravitating towards green teas now that I've had this but this tea kettle like I said it just it looks so beautiful on the countertop if you are looking for a tea kettle definitely get this one because it'll make you a tea drinker so this one is just the kettle the base is downstairs I left it plugged in but it does have an electric base so you don't have to put this on the stove it's one unit it'll heat up on its own and besides using this for tea I also use it daily for Leo's food half of his dinner is like this dehydrated wet food you have to rehydrate it and then I also always hydrate his kibble so I'll turn this on for maybe just like half the amount of time that it needs because I don't want the water to get too hot and I'll use the warm water from this to hydrate and make his food so this thing has just been like one of my most used recent appliances up next is another style of top but I got it in three different colors this is like my favorite long sleeve top ever obviously I mean that's why I bought so many of them but if I'm ever feeling kind of like unsure of what to wear and I'm not feeling really great I want to wear something that makes me feel really confident I have been gravitating towards these shirts I can't remember the brand on this I it's something that like I can't pronounce okay there it is it's a bunch of consonants in a row but I love these tops so much. They're these square neck long sleeve tops, but what's so great about these is that they're super supportive. You don't have to wear a bra with them, and they're also really flattering. They hug my figure so, so nicely. So like I said, anytime I'm not feeling confident and I, I need to throw an outfit together really fast, I'm usually trying to grab one of these. The material on these tops is really, really nice, and also through the body part, it is double lined, which is kind of like what gives you such a great hold and such a great shape. So I started with this red one, and I just like realized I wanted to wear it every day, so I got this one and then I got this black one and then I also grabbed this blue one and I would suggest in these actually sizing down I actually get mine in a small normally I wear a medium like in these tops I got a medium but in these ones I'm glad that I got a small because it just sucks you in a little bit more and gives a little bit better shaping up next I have the infamous Bottega teardrop dupe earrings I actually really really love these this one came in a pack of three the size that I'm showing you guys right now is the smallest size and it's pretty much the only ones I wear I just feel like if I wear the bigger ones it's gonna overwhelm me I am a smaller person 
person. I'm 4'11", so like my head is smaller, everything like that. So I feel like this is like as big as I should go. I don't know, maybe I could do the medium one, but I just don't want it to look overly chunky on me. But I absolutely love these earrings whenever I'm like dressing up an outfit. I just feel like they give such a good staple and they're such a good dupe for the Bottegas. I mean, they pretty much look exactly like them. I would just say they're just not as shiny because they're just obviously not made out of the same material. But style-wise, these are spot on and these have been my favorite earrings to wear besides the Huggies that I wear daily. Up next is my favorite iced coffee cup. I got two of these huge like, really I think they're like 24 ounce they call them mason jars they're not really like mason jars to me I mean they did come with lids they came with like a bamboo lid with like a hole so that you can take your drink on the go and then they also came with an airtight cap so if you wanted to you could also use this to like maybe prep like one of those like layered salads and like bring it to work and then you just dump it out and what's nice is that this has so much room so you can do a ton of ingredients but in particular like I said I have been loving this for iced coffee I don't know what it is I've just been really into the idea of like huge chunky big glasses for my iced coffee that's just the vibe I've been going for and I love that these are super sleek they hold so so much like honestly when I make iced coffee with these my iced coffee is so massive I mean just look at it next to my face it's so big but you know who doesn't love a really big iced coffee in the morning speaking of coffee I did want to mention my new coffee spoons I got these gold coffee spoons a little while ago and these are just such a vibe in the morning whenever I need to stir my hot coffee just because when I make it it just ends up layered and I always need to stir it and I didn't want to keep using up our regular spoons because we need those for like dinner and lunch and stuff like that so I decided to get a set of actual dedicated coffee spoons and I love the gold on these I love the shape on them I love how long they are and also too they were really inexpensive it came in a pack of four and I think when I got it it was like two maybe three bucks if that so a really good deal on these and just like a really easy small way to just elevate your mornings then up next is one of my favorite kitchen purchases that I've gotten over the last couple months. I have been absolutely in love with this item. I can't believe it took me so long to get it. I actually have two of them. But I finally got these clip-on pasta strainers and let me tell you guys, they have changed my life. I became so obsessed with them that I gifted them to pretty much everyone for Christmas. I was like, you guys have to have these. And like some people were confused. They were like, oh, cool when they opened it. And then when I explained what it was, they were like, oh, that's so genius. So instead of like wasting a strainer and stuff and like having to like wash it and everything, like that you just clip this onto the pot it fits like almost any pot shape and you just pour the water out and it's just it's so much easier I love it and then especially for if you're making pasta what's nice about this is you just like strain the water out I would suggest leaving just a little bit but then the pasta is still in the pot and you can pop it back on the stove and put a little bit of sauce over it and just like warm it up a little bit with the sauce makes it so much easier instead of like warming the sauce up in a separate pot then adding it or like transferring the pasta over into a strainer while you reuse the pot to warm the sauce you guys get it but I Anyways, I love this. I can't live without these now and don't be surprised if I order like six more. Then finishing out our kitchen favorites are a set of soup spoons. I have been wanting to get soup spoons for a little while now. Ramen is my favorite food, but I also order pho a lot and stuff like that. So every single time I've had those, I've just been using like the regular dinner spoons to try to have the broth. So Trevor and I finally decided we were like, it's time we need soup spoons because he also has ramen a lot too. And these have just like really elevated the experience. I got this set of four and look at how gorgeous these are so it comes with a pink a cream and this one's kind of like a lighter greenish gray and then a dark more charcoal gray and the set is just absolutely beautiful we love it I mean they're soup spoons function wise they're gonna do the trick but I just like I said I love the way that these look and how much easier it makes it to enjoy our favorite meals then up next we have my favorite sweatpants I had these in my wish list on Amazon for I think like a year maybe two before I actually finally ordered them and once I did I was obsessed I actually got them in two colors I have one here right now but I'll put the lighter gray on the screen but it's these sweatpants and you guys these sweatpants are like my favorite things to wear everything about these is amazing the waist on these is like a good stretchiness that it holds up really well but it also doesn't like pinch you in too hard it also has pockets which is lovely we love a pocket and then it has the cinched bottom so if you are shorter this is very very helpful because then it automatically cinches around your ankle no matter your height so it's not gonna drag but more than anything the reason why I really like this is the material it doesn't have fleece inside it's just more of like a shortcut terry and I really really like that I love sweatpants but I feel like I can only really wear them in winter just because when I'm like around the house I'm usually going in and out to walk Leo and then doing things here and there so I can get hot pretty easily so it's nice that I can still wear really cozy sweatpants without overheating and then also too these are great for whenever I'm walking Leo the pockets are great for extra storage and again the material is lightweight enough that I'm not 
not burning up unless I'm like for some odd reason trying to wear these in summer on a walk. Then speaking of Leo, my last couple of favorites are doggy favorites. So this section is for you doggy mommies out there, specifically the high energy doggy mamas. I mean, I feel like dogs of any energy level could benefit from these items because enrichment is so important to all dogs but if you have high energy dogs you know mental enrichment is essential so the first thing that we got for him recently that has just been a game changer is this puzzle feeder this is what we feed him his dinners in some nights i've been switching on and off sometimes i'll do his regular slow feeder just because it's easier to set up whenever i use this one i have to like completely take it apart and wash every single piece individually so i'll probably do this like two or three times during the week but whenever he has dinner out of this it literally Literally takes him I'm not even kidding like 20 minutes to finish his dinner which means that he's getting a lot of mental enrichment and a lot of stimulation and generally after he eats is the time that Leo just goes the craziest I don't know why he just gets the biggest burst of energy after he eats which is so dangerous because I don't want him to bloat so I'm always trying to figure out ways to keep him calm and I've noticed that on the nights where I feed him dinner out of this he doesn't get that huge giant energy burst where he's like trying to run around and has zoomies and stuff so yeah I really really like this and especially on days where we may not be able to get out as much if it's raining I definitely use this or if we were just really busy that day and he didn't get his normal like three to four miles in I'll especially pull this out on those days hi buddy I know that's your feeder I'll especially pull this out on those days just so that he can get a little bit more work in and really tire himself out because this is really challenging so we have like the little slow feeder in here and they have to lick in between all the grooves and stuff to get their food out all the meanwhile this little bone is spinning while they eat so they're trying to get in between these grooves and around the spinning bone which also has food on it and then they have to like lick through these grooves here so it's just a lot for them to have to figure out and I I promise you your dog is gonna be exhausted after having dinner out of this and I actually have seen people too who have dogs that have even higher energy actually freeze their dinners in here and that'll take those dogs like 30 minutes and then they're zonked out then the last item is I think technically call it a treat dispenser but if you want to get even more stimulation in for your dog and you're doing a kibble dinner you can absolutely feed them their dinner out of this as well because it'll hold I think like up to a cup and a half of kibble but this is the pet geek treat dispenser Oh my god, Leo goes absolutely nuts for this. It's a button treat dispenser. You have to teach your dog to press the button and then it makes a noise, which I'm not gonna set off because he's right here and he's just gonna go crazy. But they have to learn to like press this button and you guys watching Leo do it because he only has one arm. It's so freaking cute. Sometimes he does his nose, but every once in a while, he'll try to press this with his one arm and it is adorable. But yeah, they have to press this button and then the treats dispense out into here and you can put this as close or as far as you need to right now leo is at the level where we put the button clear across our living room so he has to like run back and forth to press the button and then go get the food although i will say he has gotten a bit too smart for this if you guys notice there's a bunch of teeth marks on this he has started picking this up and taking it closer to the treat dispenser. I, I swear to God, this dog is too smart for his own good. But fair warning, it does take a lot of batteries and it'll take like a day or two to train your dog on it. But once you do, you can start challenging them and like really working their brain and they're just gonna be exhausted afterwards. They're gonna knock out and they're just gonna be so mentally enriched and fulfilled. But this is what the little treat dispenser looks like inside. You have to scoop all of the kibble or whatever you're using into here and then just screw on the top, turn everything on and then you're good to go. All right, you guys, well, that is it. That is all of my current Amazon favorites that I have been loving lately. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, please don't forget to like and leave a comment down below. Let me know what some of your current Amazon favorites are. You guys know I am a shopaholic, so I would love to check out your suggestions. And of course, for anyone new here, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe and join my little YouTube family. Anyways, thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you, and I will see you very soon again in my next video. Bye.